butterflies when I go to sleep at night. Hey guys, welcome back, welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about ways to fill your sketchbook. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. So the first idea is a little bit basic, but it's honestly really fun to do and always ends up turning out really pretty. We are creating a watercolour background, aesthetic calligraphy quote kind of thing. So what we start out by doing is laying out some water on our sketchbook and then just adding in different colours of watercolour and you just keep blending them and layering them together and it creates a really nice watercolour wash effect with some like cool swirls and just it just looks really pretty so you just keep adding layers of watercolour then you let them dry before adding on your calligraphy and you have to make sure your paper is suited to watercolour and it's thick enough to handle the water otherwise it's gonna crinkle and like warp everywhere and then for the writing, it's just really simple. I just use my paintbrush to just do calligraphy and write a little quote. And it's believe you can and you're halfway there. Now you could do calligraphy with a brush pen or with the Crayola marker, but I thought it would be just easier if I just used the actual paintbrush and just did it straight on to it using watercolor paint. But you have different options to choose how you do your calligraphy. And then, I don't really know why I just added on some black hearts down there, I don't know. Time for idea two! This is one of my favourite ones I've done in this video. So idea two is basically doing art while listening to an album or based on an album. You could also do this with just a song, but I decided to use a whole album. And I don't know if you guys can guess, but the album I used was Folklore by Taylor Swift um, from last year. And I just really like the whole aesthetic of the album, so you know, the dark trees, forest, the whole vibe of it, so that's what I decided to do. And it was really simple, I just made a watercolour background using some really light grey um, watercolour. Then I added on the ground by just like, I don't know how to describe it, I, kinda, I literally kind of just stabbed the brush onto the paper. Then I made some different trees and making sure the trees at the back were a lighter shade and the trees at the front were a darker shade to create the sense of like depth. And then I just added on some of the leaves, not really as leaves, just as little blobs just put onto the trees. And this was really simple and it was actually really quick, but I think it looks really pretty. And you know, I just, I really, really like this and you guys should definitely go try making some art from an album or a song. So number three is kind of two ideas mixed together as one and I don't really know what I was doing but it was it was it ended up looking really cool. So basically what I did first is I took a picture of myself on my phone as you guys can see right there and then I just drew it out using pencil and then after I drew it out using pencil I went in with biro and I did it in pencil first because Obviously you can't rub out pen, so that was basically it. And then I just went over it with Biro and I added some shading and some details while using the photo as a reference image, but not trying to make it look realistic, just using it for like inspiration. So the idea here is basically you should take your own photos and try to draw them using different media. And that's what I was doing here. And right now I'm just adding shading to my face using pen under my eyes and then starting off with my hair. The hair didn't really work out that well. Um, it just looks a bit dodgy, but that's fine because it wasn't meant to be realistic in the first place. So here we have my hair. And with biro and pen, you can't really blend in the same way you can using pencil or paint. So you can't really like, you know, smudge it out and stuff like that. You have to just work in really like short strokes and just build it up. If that makes any sense, um, it makes a lot more sense when you actually use it. But anyway, the next idea or part of this idea is to decorate your drawings in a really creative way. And for this, what I did was I grabbed some, so basically I had some wrapping paper that was pink and it was like clear and then I just stuck it on in a big blob. I didn't really draw out the blob properly, I just had a blob and I just used PVA glue to stick it on. So idea four is also a bit weird, but I think it's really fun and it's kind of creative. So it's fun to do something different in your sketchbook. Basically for this one, I killed a book 
But this book I didn't really care about. It was it was a pretty bad book, I'm sorry. It wasn't great. So I just ripped out a few pages and stuck them onto my sketchbook and then cut off the edges that were kind of coming out. And what this does is it creates a really, really pretty background or just a really cool background with a really different effect. And then I did some little drawings and decorated the page after this. And for the actual decorations and drawings, I decided to use some watercolor and just draw little flowers using sort of red paint. And then I also did some flowers and purple paint after that. And I just kind of went crazy, you know, just adding some color here and there, um, doing some blending and just random stuff, making more flowers. There's nothing like, there's no rules here. You can just do whatever you want and it just ends up looking really cool because of the background. So that's what I really like. I really like experimenting with backgrounds and just going crazy because your sketchbook doesn't have to be a professional work of art. So as you guys can see, I just went in with a little quote and I just thought that was a cool thing to do. But you guys can also stick on images or stick on stickers, gems, anything you want to just to make this page your own. So yeah, here is how it turned out. It's, it's a weird idea. It looks a bit weird, but it was fun to do. So the next way to fill your sketchbook is really easy and it's really quick and basically you can use it to take up big parts of your sketchbook and just fill it a lot quicker. So basically I'm pretty sure you have seen those aesthetic line art things on Pinterest where they're really simplistic drawings but they look really cool. So that's the kind of thing I decided to do. I just did a simple line art for a flower and some just leaves coming out of the flowers as well. So this is really simple. I'm pretty sure you can find lots of reference images on Pinterest or Google of just simple line art. I kind of merged like two different reference images together. It's just really easy. You don't really need a reference image in the first place either, to be honest. As you guys can see, I'm just adding on some random flowers and stuff. And then after this, I went in with the background. And what I did was I just got some watercolor and did a few random strokes of different colored paint. It's honestly really simple, but also really fun and really satisfying to do. It looks really dull on the video, but it was actually pretty bright in real life. So I'm sorry it looks so dull, but yeah, this was fun and you guys should definitely go try this. So the next idea is to just try out some different techniques and experiment with different media. And here, I didn't really know how this was gonna work out. I was just trying something I thought I saw a long time ago on the internet somewhere. So what I decided to do was I got a white oil pastel, then I did a little drawing. Obviously you guys can't see the drawing because it's white on white, but if you look closely you might be able to see some of the oil pastel. And then I'm pretty sure I drew a little rose or like a flower or something. So I tried to add some shading and some detail in my drawing, although this was kind of hard because you couldn't really see it well and it was oil pastel. But anyway, after this, I just grabbed some watercolor paints and I used some red and pink. So basically, I just layered my watercolor over the oil pastel. And the idea is that you guys can see the oil pastel drawing now after putting colored watercolor on top of it. And yeah, as you guys can see, this did work. It wasn't the best thing ever, but it does look kind of cool and I am pretty happy with it. Um, obviously, because it's oil pastel, it cannot take watercolor and that's why it works like this. So for the next idea, you guys can make it look a lot more aesthetic than mine. My one didn't really work out because my watercolors were just really bad quality and I couldn't find my other ones. But basically we are making a swatch page. So you just test out different media on your swatch page and try to make it look aesthetic and organized. You can also try blending or different techniques using that media on your swatch page. So what I decided to do was I tried some different blending techniques from, as you guys can see here, it's like orange to red. And then I did some other colors down below as well. Now this is a really great way to fill your sketchbook because it's really easy, doesn't really require any effort. And it also helps you get a good understanding of your materials and your media. So you guys should definitely go make your own swatch page. And anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. See you guys next time. Cross my heart and